Tracy and Katie, I trusted my n****s, they never betray me. Met all these they sweeter than Sadie. When I started out, I just took what they gave me. Did all the what up, YouTube? It's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another fucking video. I don't really don't listen to that music. I don't even know what Drake was singing. Never even heard that song. It just was on. My normal stations are not playing anything right now. It's commercial. Um, so that's what I was listening to as of now. Anyway, what I want to talk to you is just something dumb. Something, just something to think about. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just off my rocker. Maybe, I don't know. You, you tell me about what I'm about to tell you. So we have Zeke, right? We're all freaking out about, do we have a, enough money for D-Law? Do we have enough money to pay Zeke? Do we have enough money to, to get pay Dak? Do we have enough money to pay Coop? Who's gonna get shafted? Is it gonna be Byron Jones? Probably, we don't know. But check this out. Dak and Zeke are under their fourth year of contract. I don't think Dak has a fifth year option, but Zeke does. So this is what you do. And this is just me talking, like I said, Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm fucked up in the head because you know what, maybe some people have a heart and don't think of it like a business and it's like, man, you need to give this man his money, he's been doing this for us, but I get it. But this is the business side, I'm on the business side of shit. And this is what I gotta say. So you pick up Zeke's fifth year option, right? You pay him his fifth year option, what he's owed, what he's due, you pay him. He works, he does his shit, Hey, guess what? Boo! Franchise tag your ass. That's six years under under the Cowboys. Five under contract, six with the franchise tag. You know how much we use Zeke? He touches the ball at least 20 to 35. 20 to 30 times a game. 16 games a season. Not counting preseason because he don't play. And that's not including playoffs if we make it. And the way we use him, check this out. Because after we franchise tag him, do it again. Do it again. Now I know he probably won't sign it. And I know that seventh year we'll probably have to pay the man. But check this. You franchise tag him for six. That's the sixth year that he'll be with us. Seventh year you pay him what you need to. But yet you already have, you will have Dak under contract. You will have D-Law under contract. You will have Coop under, because right now, all you need to worry about is D-Law, which I'm not big on breaking the bank for this man. And I told you why already. And then you have Coop who needs to get money. And I really don't think Byron Jones is a guy that you need to break the bank for either. I, you, uh, he does, you don't, you don't. To me, he's played well under Chris Richard, and I really think elsewhere he's going to fail. He's going to falter. He's, he's not going to do good. Now, like I said, with Demarcus Lawrence, you don't want to pay the man a significant amount of money because we are not good. History shows the Cowboys who open up their wallet for their players end up not doing well. Check it, D-Law has not one, not two, but he needs three surgeries. He's already had one and two surgeries, both on his back. His third one being his torn labrum, which he's not gonna get until he gets that big contract. And guess what, I have had a torn labrum. I've been a college athlete with my torn labrum and I still took over a year to come back from that. And guess what, pitching with that torn labrum, re -tore again. And so now I got a torn shoulder for the rest of my life because I'm not about to go pay up ten thousand dollars, you know, or whatever I gotta pay for insurance to go get my shit reconstructed. Hey, it works. I can lift weights. I can work out. I can run. It hurts like how to throw the ball, but you know what? I can do it. Not as good as I once did, but it's there. So let me just speaking from experience. A torn labrum is not something that's just simple. You'll come back, no. It's about a year and a year and a half recovery time. And I get it, these are athletes, so they're working around the clock to get, but there's only so much you can do after that torn labrum. There's only so much, just baby steps for the first six months. Baby steps. You're in a sling for six weeks. I was, I was in a sling for six weeks. And after that, a couple months, I was doing rehab. Then after that, then I was like throwing the ball. Like I can only grab the ball and throw it 10 times. 
and it was just eh, eh, you know. And then every day it was pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up. You can, there's only so much you can do. So we're not, we don't need to break the bank for D-Law. But like I said, this salary cap, everyone's freaking out about it. But the Cowboys know what's up. They got the options. They got options, man. Look, like I said, Zeke is going to be under contract through next year. We don't need to pay him right now. We don't need to pay him right now. We don't need to even pay him next year. You franchise tag him for this. That'll be year number six. We get six good years out of him. And guess what? You start grooming his replacement. Why? Because the way we use him, he is only going to be good for nine, for three to four more years. Three to four more years, he's only going to be good after that. And guess what? What line, what offensive line is he going to get behind? What offensive line that's as good as the Cowboys will he get behind? Because it ain't going to be the Rams. They got Gurley. They paid him. Ooh. And it ain't going to be, who else has a good line? The Patriots, I know. Because they don't deal with that shit. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Who? You know, they're not. We have options. We can strong arm, stronghold a lot of these guys. We can't. And I know that's kind of fucked up. And I'm probably, I could be way off. Anybody out there who sees my video, Cowboy fans, let me know. Maybe, I can, maybe I'm way off here. But it's just, this is what I was thinking. We have them for five years and franchise tag them for the six. We don't need to pay these dudes right away. Everyone's freaking out about it, but we don't need to. Dak doesn't need to get paid right now. Dak knows that if he goes and tests the market somewhere, He's not going to get what he wants because he knows that he is a system, cowboy system quarterback, and he's only good with Z. Yes, he went 9-7 and seven when that suspension was Zeke. Yeah, he did. And yeah, he had a bad showing. He went 3-3 three and three without Zeke. With Zeke, he's... He's winning. He's winning. Because they don't attest for, for Dak. That's why Dak's been able to make those plays. And Dak knows that he's not going to get what he wants out there in the open market. Unless, I mean, I shouldn't say that because we all know that there's someone stupid enough to do that. The Redskins with Collins. The Raiders with Brown. So... We have options, guys. We don't need to be freaking out about, do we have enough money to pay this guy, that guy, or whatever. We don't. We don't need to be freaking out. We don't. Like I said, we can franchise tag Dak next year because we can have that option to pick up Zeke. And then, you know what? Hey, he had an off year. Let's pay him off of this season. All right, you get your 15 mil. He's our quarterback for the future. For the future. You know, there's options, there's ways around things. I mean, I don't know. I could be way off. This could be totally wrong. But those are just my thoughts, my my, my comments on the situation. The only people you need to be worried about right now is Coop and Demarcus Lawrence. That's it. Nobody else right now. No one else because everyone's freaking about out about we need to pay Dak, we need to pay Zeke when you don't need to. You don't need to. We have these guys under contract. They can hold out, I guess. But what good is that going to do them? Nothing. Nothing. Because it doesn't take but a second. As soon as you leave that building, boom, you're replaced. Your replacement may not be as good as what you are. But hey, we need to move forward. So, I don't know. Like I said, it may be fucked up that I'm thinking like that. But that's just my business side of the way I'm thinking about shit. Leave your thoughts, comments down below. Because I want to know what y'all think. I'm out. Peace.